a lovely October day, so we decided to take a trip to the Mount Sorrel and Rothley Community Heritage Centre in the Tesla. Yeah, go up the steps, up the railway. Nunkley Hill. Sorrel Railway Museum, which we'll probably end up having a quick look in. So, see where these are gone. Yep, there they are, walking down there, catching up. You have to stay on the path, mate. Look, look at these storyboards. Just the same. <laughs> Wood pumps and stuff, and jennies and old tools. Yep, been there, done it. 14 years of my life, the quarrying. And there you go. Now at the back of the rail line. Oh, look at all these, look. 
Yeah, we used to work at the brush. I used to weld these locomotives for a living. I used to weld those cabs when I was 20 years of age. And that's what that's all about, brush locomotive. Who knows? I'm not saying this is one I welded. I welded two or three of these actually. We used to do it all stick welding. All those seams you see in there. All the way along there, all done by hand. And health and safety wasn't great. It's to burn my head like no tomorrow. But this was for Barry Wiggins and Co. Kings North. Restoration and of course to the lads. Full respect. You can go back up this way. You can walk up the side there, see inside this train. You will if I go. There's a lot more in I thought actually. Mm. Wickham Materials trailer. Uh, I can remember these things. I know, a, I know a lad who literally took one of these home through the barriers at the brush, through security, and he was on his way home to East Leak to go and show his mum what he did for a living. He had some problems, bless him, but at least he was in work. And yes, that was the thing he drove out the main gate. Where are you going with that, he was shouted at. I'm gonna show my mum. That's an old story from way back when. That's the kind of water it uses, capacity of 1,200 gallons, 1,200. Crazy. See ya. <laughs> Just. Does he not want to go in? And that's the history of the brush where I did my apprenticeship in mechanical engineering. There you go. And this is the back end of granite quarry. Owned by Tarmac. This is the garden area. Stop, look, and listen for the trains. See if there's any trains coming. Be careful now. There's no train. Yeah, hold on tight your hands. Yep. Look that way. That way? Yeah. No trains? No, look this way. No trains? No trains. Walk across then, across nice then. and easy. Good boy. There you go. Stop, look, listen. Beware of trains. Over here is a trail that we're not going to do because we've got young and today it might be a bit on the, the messy side so we ain't going to do the trail but next time we come we'll have a go maybe in the summer. That way, this way now. Turn left. This way. <laughs> Link's Fodden. Yeah, this way. That's Granite Ridge View, look, the new trail. Follow this walkway. Oh, 
Ollie's been down here many times, mate. Yeah. yeah. Keep to the path. Keep to the path. Uh -huh. That's dead end, so it's got to be this way. This way, yeah. This way. Yep, up this way. Let me hold your hand now. It's all the way up there, look. Let me hold your hand. I'm going to go back down yet. <laughs> but as you can see from here, good old view. There yeah, we've just been into. The other trails across that way. Hey. There's a red one coming up. That is on his sausage roll with a dip. Got bacon sandwiches. Yeah. Nice looking bacon. <laughs> My two nice. on the sausage roll. And ketchup and a couple of lattes. Get in. Well, gonna have a quick final look in the heritage <laughs> centre, which is in there. <coughs> And that wraps it. Back to the car, home, and a good little visit.